I was one week early, which never happens to me. My mum never had, you know, the chat with me, only handed me a book with a confident looking preteen on the cover and said, read this. And if you have any questions, come and talk to me. I smuggled it into school and I showed it to everybody and we howled at the cartoon scrotums and then the word scrotum and then we fell quiet when we saw what would happen to our bodies. I never asked my mother any questions except from one. What if I get pregnant, you know, by accident? What I meant was, should I tell you if I do? She never gave me a real answer, but I should have asked her more questions. I was one week early because there must have been a chapter missing from that book because it never told me to look for the day that boys become quiet and learn to speak in a code. It never told me that if your body grows beyond a certain size, it becomes public property, a monument to development. It never told me growing up was going to be so damn hard that your mind would grow with your body and experience pains of their own. It should have mentioned mental health and peer pressure and managing stress. And you know, would it have been so hard in the section about periods to say that when using tampons for the first time, don't use the same ones your mother does the woman's had two children for Christ's sake. Have a little common fucking sense. I really should have asked my mother more questions. In high school, she was two weeks late. The right boy, the wrong time. Too young to play mother, too old to ask her mother to hold her hand. And it should have been him. He who pitched a tent inside her self-worth and built them both a home. But in instead it was me and I was 30 seconds too late. And breaking down the bathroom door is all that could have been spilled down her hands. It wasn't wrong. She wasn't wrong. An impossible decision between that and the life she envisioned for herself. I asked my mother, if that ever happens to me, should I tell you? She said, I'm the first person you tell. And stroked my hair as I cried for all the right choices that come at the wrong times and all the arms that never get to carry. Never told me growing up was going to be so damn hard at a party. My dad's 60th, my cousin brought her newborn baby, her name is Isla, and she floated through a sea of arms and aunties, no rocking disturbed her slumber, and she drifted into the port of my chest. And all the seas quieted and all eyes looked to me as someone said, that suits you. There were many years in too late in learning that I am not port, not harbour, not resting place or lapping shore. I compass point courage and adventurer mind. I'm the road, I'm the captain and I live my life with my arms outstretched. These arms were not meant to carry, ready to catch everything that comes my way and their wistful stares wrestling my arms from sail into cradle tie me to this love this is what it is to love when you're a woman isn't this what you wanted isn't this what we wanted for you doesn't mother just suit you so damn well i was one week early which never happens to me. I was one week early and it even felt different, looked different, was different. Maybe my normal sign telling me that I wasn't pregnant was this time telling me that I was. Past tense. I'll never know for sure, but it wasn't the right time. I was born one day late because my mum was due when she had tea in the park tickets and she. I was born into a world of music and I have never stopped dancing. My mother taught me how to look after myself. My father taught me that I would never be alone. My sister taught me how to be sister, be friend, be storyteller. And those are things that I think I could pass on and I see her. 
She has all the music of her father and she has my way with words. She is him and she is me and she will grow to be free to pick the labels that she wears for herself and damn it, she will know that we all change and she is free to do the same. So if she is ever called by the wind and sea and leaves me once again, empty harbor, I'll keep my love burning in the lighthouse, point her north, wish her fair weather, tell her never look back. She will be free as I am now to weather her storms and seas. We are connected by the oceans that boil under our skin and I've been making waves my whole life. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I was one week early, one day late, one life inside that's mine to give and maybe she will only ever be beautiful possibility. My best story, maybe the best is yet to come, but if she does, she will be right on time. <laughs>